G'day everyone and welcome to Common Prayer this Wednesday morning. It's great to be with you again. And today we're starting a new book, 1 Timothy. And it's a, a lovely, lovely book where we see Paul and his relationship with Timothy, um, how, how Paul encourages Timothy in his work. He's a, a young guy just starting out in ministry um, and, and in charge of a church. And Paul's writing to really encourage his fellow brother in Christ. And today we're looking at chapter 1 where we see Paul warning Timothy about false teachings, but also encouraging him to keep strong in the faith. And there's just one verse I want us to, to focus on. It's a beautiful little verse where Paul reminds Timothy of his call, of what was prophesied about him when the elders laid his hands on Timothy and set him apart for his ministry. And we'll see that later on in chapter 4. But in verse 18, Paul says to Timothy, Timothy, my son, I am giving you this command in keeping with the prophecies once made about you, so that by recalling them, you may fight the battle well. And it's beautiful. I love it. It's that reminder for us all to think about who has encouraged us in our faith. Who has encouraged us to keep strong. To remember what, what we were called to or what we came into as Christians. As, as baptized Christians. As disciples of Jesus. Now, there is a danger of reading 1 and 2 Timothy that we may think, though well, these books are between two priests, between Paul and Timothy, and Paul trying to encourage Timothy. So what is there in for me? Oh, I'm not, I'm not a leader, I'm not a priest in the church, I'm not on council, I'm, I'm not a warden, I'm, I haven't been set apart. But I want to say to you, if you are a baptized Christian, if you confess as Jesus as your Lord and Savior, if you follow Jesus, you are a disciple, and therefore, you are a leader in proclaiming the gospel and sharing the good news with someone. So I want to encourage you today in your journey, in your walk with the Lord. I want to encourage you to share the gospel, to stay true to the faith. But I also want to encourage you to encourage someone else today. Think of someone who you can encourage. Give an encouraging word. Say they're doing a good job and in their job. Or if they're a fellow brother and sister in Christ, encourage them in their faith. Even if it's just to say, look, I want you to know I am praying for you. That can be a huge encouragement for someone. So that's our challenge today, friends. Who can you encourage? And I want you to know I want to encourage you. And I am praying for you in your walk with the Lord. To finish with, I want to say a prayer from our prayer book, which is a call to discipleship. So let us pray. Christ, whose insistent call disturbs our settled lives, gives us discernment to hear your word, grace to relinquish our task, and courage to follow empty-handed wherever you may lead so that the voice of your gospel may reach the ends of the earth. Amen. Friends, God bless and be encouraged today in your walk with the Lord. God bless.